So what's it like being a female attorney in a male-dominated litigation world? We're asking an expert. News 8 has partnered with personal injury attorney Brooke Goff from the Goff Law Group to bring you the law down. Attorney Goff, great to have you here. Thank you again for having me. All right, so have you ever run into issues being a female in kind of this male-dominated world? Sure. So luckily we're in 2020, right? Absolutely. So, it's changing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm convinced. I'm going to do my part to make sure that, that this next decade is the year of equality, okay? As much as I can anyways. So, you know. Um, but uh, it's, of course, you run into issues. You run into, you know, a little bit of respect issues here and there from the older practicing attorneys sometimes. But I'll tell you, I mean, pretty much nobody's ever come up to me and said, hey, you're a female. You can't do what we do. Right. I'll tell you, the, um, the response has actually been the opposite. Jurors love female attorneys. Okay. They love us. Okay. All the responses I've gotten when I've tried cases, we talk to the jury after the fact, um, and, and that's totally up to the jurors that want to talk to us. Um, they, uh, they say, what a refreshing change. Okay. And, you know, I, I mean, people ask, you know, do you think jurors, it makes a difference. I've done some interviews on that. And honestly, I think the case is the case. And the jurors are, people, everybody's different. That's the thing. So, I, you know, my clients are like, I want to go to trial. I say, okay, but you understand you have no idea <laughs> what these eight people, two of which are alternates, have for opinions have been in their life and um, you know the same works with maybe they don't like a woman or maybe they like a woman better or maybe we don't know so. right so why do you think more women are not in the litigation because it's know. cutthroat okay and it's it used to be an old boys club and there was an understanding um, in the field and unfortunately so to get usually to get to where I am uh, you need to have gone to a Ivy League school and you need to have graduated top of your class then got a job with one of these big law firms okay mm -hmm. uh, Boston and not so much Connecticut New York whatever whatever and um, at the end of the day it, there's still that thing when you go interview where She's a female, so she's probably going to have kids. And she's probably going to lose time. And she's probably not going to be as available and be able to work the 100 hours a week. And a lot of females get passed up because of it. And it's still a problem. It's a known problem. I think in any field, right, that you're, you're dealing with that. Yeah, but when you're dealing with a litigation the first few years of an attorney's career, sure. I mean, you're working so 80 to 100 hours a week. I mean, sometimes more. Right. It's a big problem. Yeah, they pay all this money, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, you women get passed over, and you're correct. And in, in, in many male-dominated fields, women get passed over. Sure. I'll just leave it at that, right? Leave it Fair there. enough. Uh, so, what happened when someone mistaken, mistakenly called you the court reporter? So because I, that happened, right? It, it, that's my funny story. So <laughs> I was like a fresh lawyer, fresh out, probably yeah. weeks, really. Of, oh, I got probably sworn in. And I go to, um, I, I was early because, of course, when you're new. Prepared. You're absolutely, <laughs> way over prepared. So I go in and I sit in the room and I'm waiting there for like a half hour and the deposition is supposed to start, let's say, at 10. I don't know what time it was. But, and I got there at 9.30. So I come out and I'm like, where's everybody? You know, my, yeah. you know, where's the, and uh, it wasn't my client. It was actually like a secondary uh, defendant in the case that really I was just kind of there to, to mm -hmm. take notes and they said well are you ready and I'm like what do you care if I'm ready for it's not even my deposition they go well you set up and I'm and then I start I'm like for what mm -hmm. and it was the woman at the desk and she's like well you're the court reporter I said excuse me Negative. Not, not that that's a problem because uh, to be honest you'll hear the rest of the story so the two the two attorneys that were sitting there uh, were male and they like were mortified by the whole situation right but the um, the court reporter. So there's there's three ma males sitting there, and the court reporter stands up, and guess what? It's a male. Go figure. And he's like, I'm the court reporter. Wow. It was so the woman apologized profusely, but the point is, there's still always having to prove yourself. We gotta help ourselves, like help. Are, you know, females have to help other females. Unite, absolutely. But it's equality. So I'm not one of these people that complain. Oh, I'm a female. Blah blah blah. I think it's great. I'm I'm happy to not break the glass ceiling to like like knock out the glass ceiling you know what i mean i'm happy to be the person to do that short oh, you're being a great I will role be, model yeah i will be the one that challenges all the rules and i will be the one that that does it no problem there you go. but it's not about being a male or female in the litigation world it's about being a great lawyer Absolutely, and that's what it comes down to. And if you want to learn more, you could always log on to gofflawgroup.net, get a hold of Attorney Goff. Thank yep. you for being here. Thank you for having me. All right.